Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. Boom, making Gotham great again. Thank you to Bat Mashups for submitting this motion graphic. Still tweaking with stuff in the new studio, but we're getting it fancy. We're getting it nice. Um, I want to bring an update about some of the Dakota Access water protectors, people who've been arrested. There's several very significant court cases that have happened recently. This actually came out in June, but it's significant because no one's talking about it. No one's reporting about this. The Native American water protector uh, becomes first to be sentenced to time in federal prison for DAPL protests. Seven Native Americans face felony charges, while hundreds of others still face lesser charges for their role in the fight against the Dakota Access Pipeline. This came from a website, Nation of Change, this is uh, Alexander Jacobo. Uh, interesting website that I found that is just actively tracking this. If you want updated information on what's happening with the water protectors and who's been arrested and all of that stuff, this website is where I would, it'd be an excellent resource for you. It's in the show notes below. Um, Michael Littlefeather Giron, a member of the Coastal Band of Chumash Nation, was sentenced to 36 months in federal prison this week. He is the first person to be sentenced to serious prison time for his role in the protests against the Dakota Access Pipeline. So, much of this stems from the incident in October of 2017 and... Um, yeah, it's, it's, or 2016, I believe. Um, excuse me if I got that date wrong. And what has happened, and, and this article goes into it, is they're, they're, they're not getting, they're not going to get a fair trial. How do we know this? The Water Protection Legal Collective explains that many of the defendants facing charges in relation to the events of Standing Rock take plea deals because a trial will mean facing a hostile jury pool. A defense commission study last year by the National Jury Project found a whopping 77% of potential jurors in Morton County and 85% in Burleigh County had already decided that the Standing Rock defendants were guilty. A motion for a change of venue or the defendants, weird. It was denied. Oh, yeah. Right. And I'm sure the oil companies aren't spending money to keep this happening. I mean, as I've reported before, Tiger Swan was hired. Now, Tiger Swan was, is a security company that has been contracted to go after terrorists in the Middle East. And they viewed people that wanted clean water for themselves and their families and their children as terrorists and treated them like terrorists. The people of Morton County like you, you, so you don't want clean water for your kids when your kids get birth defects and start having um, issues and health, all the issues, health issues like they've had in Flint, Michigan. You don't, you don't want. You're good with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, makes makes perfect sense for me. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's. I don't like. I don't even have any word. I don't understand it. Like I, I want, I want clean water. I want clean. I don't want this to be contaminated when I drink it because I need it. I need water. Like the human body. It, like, did did you know that Morton County? It, you need, you need, you need water. Did, you know? Oh, liberals making me drink water. Like what? I don't. What is it? I don't. Get agitators. Natives are agitators. They want clean water. It's their land. It's weird. I think it was Fargo or North Dakota, one of those cities in North Dakota said we, they voted against having the pipeline come. And that's fine. A bunch of white people say we don't want the pipeline. Oh, it doesn't happen. Oh, we're going to send it over the, the native land. And they go, no, you can't do that. And then now they're, the problem, they're, they're going to jail. What if I build a pipeline across your lawn, your property, and it leaks, and your groundwater is contaminated? Among others that were charged, two Red Fawn Fallis, I, done, I did a story about her, and Michael Rattler Marcus have taken non-cooperating plea deals and await sentencing. And two others, Dion Ortiz and James Angry Bird White, are preparing for trial. 
The state of North Dakota has prosecuted 835 state criminal cases related to the DAPL protests, of which 325 have been dismissed or acquitted at trial, and 20, 235 are ongoing. If you live in North Dakota and you're like, oh, these DAPL protesters are clogging up our courts, blame uh, the energy partners, you know, blame those companies, blame the people that built the pipeline. Blame Obama, who built, had more pipelines built when he, in his eight years. Blame Bush. Blame the two-party system that doesn't care if it contaminates water. It's, it's mind-numbing to me. Here's how much it's costing. This is, why if I, this is why I drive an electric car, by the way. The fight against the DAPL has been happening for over three years now. Obama did nothing. The pipeline, which cost nearly $4 billion and tra transports oil from 1,200 miles, has already leaked several times. That's on your land. North, South Dakota, that's on your land. Anybody in the jury pool? It should be the other way around. 77% of the population in North Dakota should be in favor of the Dakota Access protesters. Despite the fact that the project was eventually greenlit, the fight for the water protectors and the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe has paved the way for protests against oil pipelines all over the country and the world. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe has now taken the... They've taken it to court. That's what you need to do. I think go on the offensive. Now, granted, you're going against oil companies that have billions of dollars. This is a $4 billion project we have right here, $4 billion. We could have spent, I wonder if we could have spent $4 billion on building wind turbines in the Dakotas. The Dakotas, because they're flat plains, have enough wind, if it were to be harnessed, to provide 60% of America's energy needs. But instead, you spend it on this shit that's going to leak and make your kids, it's going to make your kids sick. It's going to poison you. And the indigenous people to this land, they were here first, are being locked up. So hats off to the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, man. So. Ugh. I hope they open a casino that all these white people, these jurors that won't vote, go in and gamble and they take that money and fight the oil companies and the federal government. Because that's what you have to do, you guys. You gotta, we got to fight them at every, at every turn because it's like, this is what they're doing. So when big corporations can buy out politicians and local cops and juries and judges and there's no fair trial. They have to take plea deals. They won't move it to another. I mean, you got to be kidding me. With presented with that information, you should move it. It's just preposterous. But they started making all this money in oil and up in the up in North Dakota. So they just came in and buy everybody, just like the just like drug cartels do. This is what drug cartels do. <laughs> it's the same thing. Thanks for watching the show, you guys. Please support me at the Patreon. Like and subscribe. And all of you are making Gotham great again. Boom. Thanks for watching.